Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So here is my Rite Aid haul for today. So I do have four transactions here to show you. I do have two cards, so I did two transactions on each card. This week and next week I have been strategically burning and rolling my bonus cash before I go on holiday. I do plan to do another, a few transactions later on in the week. That way my bonus cash will roll over and won't expire while I'm on holiday. Not sure if I have a video for you later on in this week, but if I do, do leave your notifications on. But right now at Rite Aid, there are some pretty good deals. We do have an earn in ad coupon that if you spend $40, you get $10 back in bonus cash. With those coupons, it is a one-time use per card. There is four unique barcodes check out real deals she posted on her community tab so there's one from the circular one from their website one from an email and one from their social media so basically with those four barcodes you could do four transactions per card and you basically for every forty dollars you gain ten dollars back that's a pretty good deal that's like a 25 percent savings on top of that you can stack that with coupons and with um, weekly bonus cash and monthly bonus cash deals as well as challenges so that's how I'm able to pick up a lot of these items for pretty cheap. At the same time, I've been working on bonus cash challenges, so I was able to work on three bonus cash challenges in uh, these uh, deals here. So I'll go over, over those as well. Okay, so like always, I'll go to the breakdown of each of the deals, show you my receipt, and let you know how much I paid in the end. Spoiler, it is not a money maker, but that's okay because I'm just rolling my bonus cash. I made a huge money maker last week, almost over $50, so I am still up when it comes to Rite Aid. I'm just happy to pick up a lot of, of these items that we will use. One of the main things was uh, these kids cough syrup. So these ones, I would go in the store anyway and pick them up for full price these are the only ones that my daughter will use so to get it for a really good price plus all these other extras i'm really happy so before i get into the deals i just wanted to do a little story time so i've gotten pretty close with the manager he is amazing he's very coupon friendly we do talk a lot and then i kind of help them out i really know the layout of the store because i go there a lot and if i see stuff that are like expired and stuff i will help him out and give them to him so then he can take them off the shelf but we were talking because he has been very short on staff and i did ask him about these two ladies that used to work on the weekends so i asked Asked them because they were pretty good cashiers they were very coupon friendly and i enjoyed working with them so i did ask him what happened to those girls and he actually mentioned to me so i was really shocked so he had to let them go because they were doing some coupon fraud and so i have heard about coupon fraud before but i've never actually experienced it or know anybody in my area that has actually um, done that and so he did mention that they were doing couponing fraud they weren't it wasn't for their benefit it was actually for the customer's benefit so it, he said that it's more or less with the internet printables they were i guess duplicating them and the cashiers were not exactly looking at the coupons correctly looking at the limits and they were just pushing them through also if the coupons were not for the right products or they weren't scanning they were just manually entering in the coupon so he told me that he had to let them go and then he did have a few replacements but they were not a fan of the job so they left so he had a, a basically a staff of 10 and now he's down to five which it hurts me because this is a really good store. And then he also mentioned that there was another store probably about six miles away that I've been to before, but I haven't been there in a long time. They closed down a few weeks ago. And so a lot of their stock got distributed amongst the Rite Aids in my area. And so he has a lot of stock that he hasn't been able to put on the shelf so he's got his weekly load as well as their load and he just does not have the staff to put them on the shelves at the same time when i went to the store today none of the aisles were tagged because he doesn't have a staff to tag them all so there were a few hiccups with my transactions because products were not tagged but in the big scheme of things, it did work out. Okay, so let's go over the first deal. So what I did was I picked up the Huggies. So this is the big one. Uh, let me see. It's a size four. It's like the 58 count. So they're a promotion for 
buy one get five dollars back i picked this up because we do have a one dollar digital coupon uh, so basically it's 24.99 after the one dollar digital coupon you'll pay 23.99 you get the five dollars back in bonus cash with this it will finally complete my bonus cash challenge for huggies so i should get about six dollars back in bonus cash challenge and then there's also no barter rebate for four dollars so after all this works out to be a cost of nine dollars so not the best it's still really cheap for diapers so on its own it's a decent deal but with that spend 40 get 10 it works out to be a pretty good deal overall after i include some more items but i'm happy to pick these up and i'll definitely give those to my sister-in-law the other two boxes that i got a few weeks ago i gave them to her and she was really ecstatic about it so i'm happy that i'm able to find deals on these and help them out it's always good to help family out especially with couponing like we get these items for practically free so to help out family i'm really um fortunate about that okay so the next deal i did is the png deal so it is spend 20 get five dollars back the limit is two i just did it once so what i did was the first item i picked up are these swiffers so they are 9.99 there is a one dollar digital coupon i got the dusters but you could also get the swiffer wet ones i i picked up these because we got the wet ones last time and i really want to stock up on these dusters so they are 9.99 the next item i picked up is one of these febreze car clips so they are 3.29 there is a two dollar and thirty cent digital coupon or load to car coupon so that worked out amazing and then i did pick up the tie so i picked up one of the tie liquid and one of the tie pods they are two for seven there is 50 cent loads of cards on these ones as well one of them did not come off because i didn't hit the enough money on my transaction for it to come off so i'll explain that to you later but basically for all those items so for the swiffer the two tide and the febreze it comes to twenty dollars and 28 cents so perfect for my um to get the five dollars so i have three dollars and 80 cents with a loads of cards so the one dollar for the swiffer came off the 234 the febreze and 50 cents for the tide the other one did not come off and i'll show you i'll explain it to you when i show you my receipt so after everything came to 16.48 got the five dollars back on its own is a cost of 11.48 for those so i'll show you my receipt and explain to you what happened so over here so this is the receipt so there's the Huggies for $24.99 with the $1 load. There's the Swiffer with the $1 load. The Febreze with the $2.30 load. I have my $5.15 and the $5.25. So with those two, that is basically 10 off of 40. So I need to get above 40 with loads of cards, uh, not factoring in loads of cards for all of them to come off. Basically, for all these items before tax, it's $45.27. I have one two three four four eighty worth of load to cards so the fact that it's 45 27 and i have 480 worth of loads i am short just for that extra 50 cents to come off i would have to spend an extra like three cents if you know what i mean and then that extra 50 cents would have come off but in the end i'm so happy i to be honest i didn't realize that it was a one dollar load on the swiffer i was just banking on the 50 cent tide so for me it worked out better for me because that one dollar load came off okay so for all these items before coupons it was 45.27 after all coupons i paid 30.47 i got 20 back i have five for the huggies 10 for the web barcode and then five dollars for the png and you can see here i have tracking so i can go back and do it again and and then change it up i could probably pick up one more of those tie pods because the 50 cents did not come off it should come off on my next transaction but also with this one i did hit my uh, huggies bonus cash challenge which would give me six dollars back and then four dollars back for my barter so technically i paid 30 47 and i got 30 back all this worked out to be a cost of 47 cents so that is a really good deal especially i'm picking up a large box of huggies i'm really happy with the way this transaction worked out so that is my first transaction again my next transaction on this card i did the listerine deal so the Listerine is spend 12, get six. The limit is two. So I went in there and picked up these. So with these uh, transactions here, my store was not tagged. So I kind of was going in there 
guessing what was working so i'll show you uh, there was a little hiccup on one of on my last transaction i'll show you that to you later but basically with the listerine these were not tagged and i was really hoping that it was part of the deal and it was so these ones here they are 629 each so four of them came to 2516 and then there is a one dollar load it got kicked off with my um spend 15 get five and my spend 25 get five so that didn't work out but that's okay i don't mind and then there could be some coupons for these but i did not check the uh the database but anyway i was still happy so it's 25 16 i got 12 back in bonus cash this works out to be cost of 13 16 or 329 each so on its own not the best but in the big scheme of things it does work out so i do have those then I decided to do the Johnson deal. So the Johnson deal is buy three, get five. The limit is two. So these first eight kits do work for that deal. So they, at my store, they are 2 19 each. So for the three of them, or six of them in total, it comes to 13 14 I did get $10 back in bonus cash because I'm doing the deal twice. This works out to be a cost of $3.14. Okay, so with this one, just with the Listerine and the Johnson, I, th I believe I was short by a couple of dollars. So what I did was I just threw in two of these K-Cups. They're in the dollar section. They're a dollar each. So that helped me get over the $40 mark so I can use the, uh, the earn in ad coupon to get $10 back. So that's my second transaction. I have the Johnson deal. I have the Listerine and I threw in those K-Cups there. So over here, you've got the K-Cups for a dollar. There are all of the uh, first A kits. So there's two, four, five, and then the other one there. My 515, 5 and 25, there are all the Listerine. So for all these before coupons, it came to $40.30. If I spent another 70 cents more, my $1 Listerine would have come off, if that makes sense. But I'm so happy with everything. So 30, 30, and I did get 32 back. I have five each for the Johnson, 10 for the social barcode, and then six each for the Listerine. So for this one, even without any coupons, just the 515 and the 525, it works out to be a $1.60. 70 cent money maker not including tax which is a really good deal there so i was happy about that and um, no uh, no bonus cash challenges for that one really wish there was but i'm still happy with all those deals that i got okay the next deal that i did so on i switched cards i did the same deal with the png so i picked up the swiffer the tides and then the febreze so same breakdown so that it came to 20 dollars and 38 cents i believe yeah, the twenty dollars and twenty eight cents, and then after all the coupons and the bonus cash, it's a cost of eleven forty eight. So I did do that. Then I decided to work on my Lysol bonus cash challenge, and so this is where the hiccup happens. So I have a Lysol bonus cash challenge that if I spend twenty three dollars, I get I, it should run up to about six dollars in bonus cash challenge money. I did not read the ad and my store was not tagged these lysol wipes are on special so it did kick me below um, the threshold for me to get my bonus cash challenge but that's okay i'm gonna correct it in my next um my next haul but that was the one little hiccup thankfully it didn't affect my transaction of earning that ten dollars so i was still over the 40 in everything so i was still happy about that okay so with the lysol there is no bonus cash deals but i did have the bonus cash challenge and so all of these air sanitizers and this lysol wipes these are all on special for 7.49 each if i knew that this was on special i would have probably picked up one of these another one of these because we do have a high value three dollar coupon so the way it worked out for me these ones here all three of these they are $7.49 each. Three of them came to $22.47. I had two $3 coupons for the Lysol. We also have loads of cards, but I decided to use the paper. And then with the Lysol wipes, there's a $0.75 cent loads of card. So that's $6.75 off. So I paid $15.72. I basically, because this one was cheaper than I expected, I did not hit my tier three, so I only hit my tier two. So I should get about $4 back in bonus cash. This worked out to be a cost of eleven seventy two overall, but it's fine. I will correct it and get another Lysol item so I can finally finish that bonus cash challenge. But 
either way i'm so happy because these are items that we use okay so i do have the PNG deal, I do have the Lysol deal. So that's the transaction that I have. So I'll show you my receipt on this one here. So over here you've got, there is a Lysol air sanitizer with the $3 coupon, the second one there, and there is the wipe. So I expected it to be $9.29. I didn't realize it was on special and I didn't um, realize it when he was scanning it at the register but it's okay it still worked out so 75 cent load there are all of the png items i have my one dollar load for the swiffer my 230 for the febreze i also okay this is the other thing i threw in one of these cough drops to make sure that i was over the the mark of the 40 dollar mark as well as a little bit over so i can use these digital coupons so i just threw this one in it's on it's normal price at 219 i do have a bonus cash challenge on this one that i'm still working on i do hope to finish that in the next uh this week or next week so i do have that one that was a little filler there and then there is the tide pods my 515 the tide uh simple liquid with the 550 cent load and the 525 okay so for all these items before coupons it came to 44.94 after all coupons i paid 24.39 i got 15 back i have 10 for the social barcode and then five for the png and then i will get four dollars back in bonus cash challenges for the lysol so for all of these it worked out to be cost of five dollars and 39 cents so not bad considering i got some pg items and some lysol still happy with all the deals that i got there Okay, and then my last transaction, I was working on my Highland Bonus Cash Challenge. So this one is uh, personal to me because this is what my daughter uses. And I was happy that it was on special and there is a bonus cash deal. Okay, so the Highland is on special. Buy one, get on 50% off. Buy two, get $3 back. The limit is two. So I did pick up four of them. So the day ones they are 349 second one rang up at 674 the night one is 12.99 the second one rang up at 649 so for the four of those it came to 39.71 i just threw in one of these little mentos here to kick me over to the 40 dollar mark but basically with these highlands it's 39.71 i got six dollars back in a bonus cash and then i should complete my bonus cash challenge with this one so i should get ten dollars back in bonus cash challenge so for these we're going to be a cost of 23.71 so on its own it's an okay deal adding in the in-ad coupon and stuff like that it works out to be amazing for me okay so i do have these highland and i do have the mentos so i'll show you my receipt on that one really quickly so there is the mentos there are the highland so you can see there i use the 515 the 525 so for all these before coupons it was 41.30 i after coupons i only have the two digital coupons i paid 31.30 i got 16 back i have 10 for the web barcode and then three each for the highland deal and i should get ten dollars back in bonus cash challenge so for this one it works out to be a cost of five dollars and thirty cents so i think that is an amazing deal to get four of these highlands five dollars i would go in the store anyway and pick up one of them and pay twelve dollars so i'm really really happy about all that that deal particularly but every other deal here okay so for all these items here the summary before coupons, it would have been $171.81. After all coupons, on all my receipts, the subtotal came to $116.46. I got $83 back in bonus cash. I earned $20 back in bonus cash challenges between the Highland, between the Lysol and... Um, the Highland, the Lysol, and the Huggies. And then I got $4 back for my barter for the Huggies as well. So for all these items here from $171.81, it came to $9.46. I did spend about $9.04 in tax. So if you want to include tax, all this came to $18.50. So a little bit of a cost. It's not a money maker like last week, but I'm still happy with all the items that I got. I Especially, like I said, with the Highland cough syrup i would have gone into the store anyway and pay full price the fact that i could buy those and or more or less get all these other items for free i'm really happy about those deals there so that's all i have for you at rite aid like i said i do plan to go back later on the 
in the week and then hopefully i will have a video for you then if not um happy shopping this week and let me know what deals you're doing uh so maybe i can probably do those later on the week when i go to the store and i hope you enjoyed my little story time there like i said i have been aware of coupon fraud but this is the first time i've actually experienced it in my area and it does hurt us couponers are us genuine couponers when people do that like when they basically have ips and they make copies of them it really hurts us but i'm just so thankful that i do have a good relationship with my manager and a lot of the staff there so they know that i am very genuine i try not to use a lot of coupons when i went to the store today the only coupons that i had the physical coupons were these two lysol everything else was digital and so he's really happy that i'm able to i don't clear the shelves and i really stick to the coupon rules yes most of like the unilevers it is one two per transaction and same with the png it's one per transaction they're still a little bit lenient and allow me to do up to four but their system does stop you at four so i'm happy that they still do that but knowing that this store has experienced coupon fraud before, I do hope that it doesn't affect us going forward and he's still very coupon friendly when it comes to me and stuff like that. But I, I do see that this is the reason why a lot of stores have become coupon cops because it is real. Coupon fraud is real and people take advantage of it and it does hurt us genuine couponers. But other than that, this is my write it haul for today and hopefully I should have another one later on this week. Thank you for watching. <laughs>